a Manicure Tools today. Let's do a battle of the brushes of the 12 volt impact drivers. Let's see which impact driver is the best. Makita weighs two pounds and 8.7 ounces. Skill weighs three pounds and 1.0 ounces. Hilti weighs two pounds, 7.0 ounces. DeWalt weighs two pounds, 11.3 ounces. And the Milwaukee weighs two pounds and 9.4 ounces. Hilti is the lightest one in the group and the skill is the heaviest. Battery is full on the Makita. Battery is full on the skill. Battery is full on the Hilti. Battery is full on the DeWalt. Battery is full on the Milwaukee. Not too shabby now. You can see Milwaukee got first place, 1.08 seconds, and the Makita got fifth place, 2.16 seconds. All right, so let's take it out. As you can see, this is a very easy task for 12 volt impact drivers, you guys. As you can see, Milwaukee got first place with 0.47 seconds and Skill got last place with 1.14 seconds. As you can see, we're using a Hilti Nutsetter bit. We're doing a six inch specs. Makita is not a quick insert collet. This one's taking a little bit of time. Twenty-three point four one seconds. The skill is not a quick insert collet either. Oh, that Makita is not doing that well. It's not doing that well at all. Ten point six seven seconds. Hilti is not a quick insert collet either. Eight point four six seconds. That Dewalt is a quick insert collet. And time. Nine point two six seconds. The Milwaukee is a quick insert collet as well. Time, 6.42 seconds. As you can see right here, the Milwaukee actually got first place with 6.42 seconds. And fifth place is Makita again at 23.41 seconds. That Makita is not really that powerful, you guys. It is not that powerful of a tool. So let's take the six inch backs out. Yeah, that this Makita is slow, you guys. It really is slow, 8.43 seconds. Four point seven one seconds. Three point six one seconds. Four point six eight seconds. And that Milwaukee again, three point three five seconds. Milwaukee is once again in first place. Three point three five seconds for Milwaukee, and last place again is Makita. 8.43 seconds. Now we're gonna do a four, five, and six inch th by three eighths inch lag. This one's gonna, uh, this one is gonna be a hard test. Eighteen point seven two seconds for the Makita. Eighteen point eight six seconds for the skill. Hilti took a hit for 17.53 seconds. Not too shabby for the DeWalt. As you can see, the Milwaukee is a powerful tool. All right, this time we have DeWalt in first place with 12.65 seconds and in last place again Makita at 18.72 seconds. All right, so let's take out the four inch lag. Time, 8.94 seconds. Time for the skill. And that skill is a bulky tool, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, it is a bulky tool. 5.86 seconds. Time for the Hilti. 5.95 seconds. Time for the DeWalt. 
3.91 seconds. And last but not least, the Milwaukee. 4.97 seconds. So as you can see right here, first place again is uh, for 3.91 seconds is the DeWalt, and last place again is the Makita at 8.94 seconds. All right, so unfortunately for the Makita and the Skill, they both fail this test. Makita just failed. It is not able to drive it in all the way. Uh, same thing with the Skill. It is not able to drive the uh, five inch lag all the way. All right, the Hilti was successful at this. I do not know why, but the motor stopped. I just had to re-pull the trigger and it went back to full action. Just a safety mechanism. Hilti at 35.88 seconds. Time for the DeWalt. The DeWalt has 22.63 seconds, time for the Milwaukee. Now, as you guys can see, when it comes to the, the new test blocks, that this is actually driving these impact drivers crazy. It's a very hard test driving these through a four x four. And as you can see right here in first place again, we have uh, Milwaukee with 18.35 seconds and we have the fourth and fifth place Skill and Makita and they failed this test. All right, so let's take the five inch lag out. Nine point two six seconds for the Hilti. Seven point five two seconds for the Dewalt. And four point five six seconds for the Milwaukee. And as you can see right here, first place again, we have Milwaukee at 4.56 seconds. And once again, because they failed to drive them in, the Skill and Makita were not a part of this test, so it was a fail. Since the Makita and Skill failed, we are not going to use them for the 6 inch by 3 eighths inch lag. We're just going to continue on with the Milwaukee, DeWalt, and the Hilti. Hilti's first up for the 6 inch lag. Galvanized, by the way. You can tell that these tools are having a little little trouble doing these in a 4x4 and two 4x4s. And the DeWalt 28.30 seconds. And last but not least, we have the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee is 19.62 seconds, so major first place right there. The Milwaukee did that with flying colors, 19.62 seconds, and Hilti came in last with 30.23 seconds. All right, so let's take out those six inch lags. Once you get the momentum going, it'll do it. Hilti with the 10.91 seconds, time for the DeWalt. DeWalt did it at 8.32 seconds. Last but not least, the Milwaukee. And the Milwaukee got 5.80 seconds. So once again, we have Milwaukee in the first place with 5.80 seconds. And the last place, we have Hilti with 10.91 seconds. And for the last test, we are going to do a one and a quarter inch speed bore on the highest speed. All these have been on the highest speed since the beginning. And they all are able to do it. 9.06 seconds for the Makita. And for the final temperature for the Makita, it is 109 degrees. That's actually a lot for the little task that it did. Because remember, the Skill and the Makita did not do what the Hilti, DeWalt, and uh, Milwaukee did. They did a little bit less, so those are going to be a little bit cooler. All right, the skill, uh, 8.50 seconds, and the, the bit dropped out. Final temperature reading is 109 degrees, same as the Makita. Time for the Hilti. And 
And for the hill T, 8.01 seconds. Let's see the final temperature reading on that. And that is 130 degrees. So it actually is the hottest one so far. Hill T is the hottest one. And the DeWalt did that with flying colors, uh, 8.46 seconds. Let's do a final temperature reading on that. 108 degrees. That's not bad, not too shabby for all that it did. Last but not least is in Milwaukee. Six point eighteen seconds. And the final temperature reading on the Milwaukee is 117 degrees. So it's not bad. So as you can see, first place again, six point eighteen seconds for the Milwaukee, and last place again, Makita, nine point zero six seconds. All right, so as you guys can tell from the video that we actually do have a winner. Now, the one that I would pick out of all these to choose for your tool for your 12-volt impact driver is the DeWalt. I love the DeWalt 12-volt Extreme Line. They actually came out with some pretty awesome stuff. And yeah, this is all together, all the way around. It feels good in the hand. It's powerful enough. And it really is a nice tool to, to use. Like it is, it feels really good in the hand, which comfort is important. If you have a powerful tool and you seriously don't want to even hold it because it's just very awkward to hold for a long period of time, then you're not going to want to use it. So like this is actually an awesome tool to use. The remaining battery life for all these is Hilti has three bars. Skill has three bars. Well, the DeWalt did have a five amp hour, so, but DeWalt doesn't make a four amp hour. If full, uh, full bars on the DeWalt, four amp hour on the Makita, which has three bars left. And the um, Milwaukee has three bars left as well. They pretty much all drain the same amount of uh, battery usage. I am declaring a winner. I truly believe based on the results and how everything went in this video, the DeWalt Extreme is number one. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.